confirms this. Uh, 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 someone is saying to me, don't run like Uthman, like Sam from Uthman. Our friend, give me give me a Skype of Uthman. I will call him right now. Let, let us see who is the one running away. I challenge you to give me the Skype of Uthman now and I will call him immediately. I keep asking it for the last, last year. And you must tell you don't dare to give it to me. So, so instead of wasting my time, Inshallah, the enemy of the truth, Uthman is a potato. He does not even know his book. He will never even dare to say hello to me. And this is my challenge for you, potato. Who is the Muslim will dare to give me the Skype address of Uthman to call him? Oh, what you need to do? Give me his Skype. I will call live on air in front of you. Now, tomorrow, the day after, all of you are potatoes. You keep asking me to debate Uthman, but Uthman never let me call him. How I'm going to debate him? You potatoes, your Uthman is a joke. And he knew his size. This is why he will never get close to me. And when you say to me, uh, uh, Sam did run from Uthman, I don't think Sam will run, but maybe he will not go and talk to someone low. For me, I don't mind. I take all kind of garbage. I don't mind, you know. Somebody have to clean the garbage. And that's me. So I don't mind, my friend. Uh, let us see. This guy is calling me Kelb. Let us call this Abdul and see what they want. Hello? Hello, my friend. Do you have a Skype of Uthman? Um, I, I'm here to defend Islam. No, no. You said to me that Uthman, people are running away from Uthman. Do you have his Skype so I can call him right now? No, my little son. Why Why you don't have a Skype of Uthman? He don't give it to you? Uthman? Why? No, I saw Sam Shimon run from Uthman. Oh, I don't know. Ran. I don't know about Sam Shimon, but you see who is the one running away right now? Why you don't no, call no, Uthman? No, no, Why no. you don't call Uthman right away? Why don't you debate me? Why don't you debate me? Okay, but you are the one who said to me, Uthman. It's you who said to me in the text, Uthman is the hero. If Uthman is your hero, I can crush him between my two fingers. That's when you are nobody. So Go fly out to California. Huh? Fly California. I'm not He's going to California. fly. I mean, you see, my friend. I have a I have a rat in the garage. I'm not willing to go to the garage to kill the rat. So the rat, it's going to die sooner or later because I put poison there. So why I want to do that when I can kill all the rats in the world without going anywhere? So you you. <laughs> bro, you've never defeated anyone in a debate. I okay, said, okay, run, hold like on, okay, hold run. on. Let me ask you. You I see, said, in the front, uh, okay, well, hold on. In the front of us, we have a video about a person asking a sheikh about refuting the Christians. The Christian make fun of the Muslims, saying Allah have legs, he have hands, he have etc. How you can refute the Christian when they say to you, Allah have body? It's metaphorical. You have to go to the original Arabic. Do you, do you, speak, do you, speak, do you speak Arabic? Yes. Okay, where it, says, where it says metaphorical, where it says metaphorical, which book we can see that Allah have hands, it's metaphorical. I don't know which hadith, which hadith or which surah. So how you are answering without knowing what is the question? You don't I've even know what it is. I've heard this argument before. I've heard this argument before. Okay, so you heard the argument. Has already answered okay, this. Who, who is the one who said to you, okay, let me ask you, did Uthman, the, your hero, say that Allah hands are metaphorical or he said they are real? I don't know, but Zakir Naik said that this is metaphorical. Zakir what Naik. if I show you a video from Zakir Naik saying this is not metaphorical? Why are you lying? Uh, show me it. I'll, I'll admit if I'm wrong. But I'm, Okay, no, I no, you will not admit. You admit you have li you are a liar. Because you no. said because you said that you saw a video from Zakir Naik saying it's metaphorical. Yes. Okay, That's can true. you give me the video title of Zakir Naik saying that? And I will find the video of Zakir Naik saying the opposite. Because if this is true, yeah. that means Zakir Naik refuting Zakir Naik. Correct? Yeah. Okay, give me the, give me the title of Zakir Naik saying that this is metaphorical. And I will find the video of Zakir Naik saying no, this is not metaphorical. 
Okay, I have the video. I All right. It. Give me the title, please. Here. I sent you the link. No, just, I don't oh. open links. It's just uh, give me oh, the... The title is, What Does It Mean Allah Have Hands? Question mark. Okay. All right. So this is the video you are talking about. Look at the screen, right? Yeah. All right. What does it mean Allah has hands, correct? Seven years ago, have yes. 5.4 view, correct? Yes. And this is a video 13 years ago, correct? Uh, no, seven years ago. No, no, I mean, there's other video of him posted. They are the same age, actually, but this is the age of the video. But anyway, this is the video you are mentioning. Let us see what it says. Hmm. Remember, you are saying this metaphorical, right? So we should hear that. Yes. All right, go ahead. Uh, 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 I will play the video. Maybe you will not be able to hear it. But give me what I'm done playing. It's just two minutes. We will play it and I will be back to you. Dr. Brother Zakir Nayak, my question is regarding the form of Allah. Surah number 39, Zumar, verse 67. The translation says that, and on the day of resurrection, the whole of the earth will be grasped by his hand and the heavens will be rolled up in his right hand. There is also an hadith in support of this, Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 6, hadith number 336. Can we just imagine some form of Allah? The sister asked a question in Surah Al-Zumur, it says, she's correct, Quran does say that, that in the day of judgment, the resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold all the creation and various verses in the Quran, etc. But if you heard my talk, sister, I gave you the key word. The key, the key to this concept is for Ashura, chapter 42, verse number 11, which says, There is nothing whatever like him. So if Quran says Allah has hands, people ask me that the Quran says Allah holds the sky. What do you mean holds like that? If I say, I am holding my family together, do you mean to the 24 hours I am with my wife and my child? I'm not holding my wife and child always, yet I'm holding them, but I'm not holding them like that. These are words used. And whenever, as I said, if Quran says Allah sees and hears, you owe oh, that Allah is here like us. He hears. How he hears? Allah alam. Allah knows. He has a hand, but not like yours and mine. Did you hear it? He has a hand. They are not with a fair call. In the minute, nope. in the minute 138, 1 minute 30 seconds, he said, Allah has a hand. But is it like our hand? No. Exactly. Okay. Said, no one is like, but you oh, said it's metaphorical. So said, you said exactly. it's metaphorical. No, it's not it metaphorical. Is. It is not metaphorical. Allah has hands. Allah has a face. Listen, listen. Here we go. I will play for you the other sheikh too. And actually, I will play for you Zakir Naik himself saying clearly that yes, he have hands. And More clear. Go ahead. Listen. Allah. And there is a saying that uh, on the last day, on the day of Qayama, everybody will witness uh, seeing Allah. So how do we refute that allegation? People say that the Quran itself gives a form to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The brother asked the question that how do you refute the anthropomorphism philosophy, which Islam doesn't believe in, but how does Islam talk about Allah has got hands and the day of judgment you see Allah? Basically, you understand what is the meaning of anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism means Almighty God himself coming in different forms and taking those forms that you know about. So, for example, for a human being, a human being will think about a human being. An animal will think about an animal. So for the animal, it's an animal. But because he's God coming in the form of animal for an animal, even the human being should respect that animal God. <laughs> so that's how we have gods in all types of forms. What you can imagine, what you can think. So therefore we say that Islam doesn't believe in anthropomorphism. The basic philosophy of the anthropomorphism, it is that Almighty God is so superior, He's so holy. He's so superior, He is so holy, but He have hands, He have a leg. Let us go to make it short. This guy, is, this video is long. Here we go. This is your shake. I will play the video too. You can watch it from your side. It says, how to refute divinant people who co-accuse us of giving Allah a figure of hands and legs, etc. And now he will say to you, you can listen to the video on my YouTube. Yes, Allah he have. Allah have hands. So what? I never wrote it Listen, down and I never wait, I explain wait. that. Wait, no, no, you can it's, it's, it's not up to you. It's not up to you to explain it. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. 
Okay, listen, listen, so listen, how would listen, listen. To them? Do you know a guy? His name is Farid. No. You never heard of Farid? No. Okay, Farid is a friend of Mimi Hijab. He have a video of himself saying, "Yes, Allah has hands." Mimi Hijab himself said, "Yes." Lili Dawa said, "Yes." Uthman said yes. You say no. Look, yeah, you Muslims have different God. You have a different God. Listen, listen. Uh, listen to the listen to the video here. Listen to the video. Listen to me on YouTube. This is your Sheikh, and he is a Muslim Sunni from Saudi Arabia saying no, 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 yes. No, no. Don't tell me no, no, no. Who care about you? No. This is your Sheikh. You're a kid. Nobody count on you. You don't even know how to read your Quran. Who care what you say? I does Isa have hands? Yes or no? Did he have hands on him? Don't change the topic. Your God have hands or not? This is part of the argument. Do, did, did no, Isa no, no. Hands? My God have hands. Your God have hands. So your God is not, not a man. Hands. Your God is not. Your God is not. Your God is not a man. Is that correct? Is your God is a man? Yes. Okay. Is he is he a chimpanzee? No. So what he is? God. What? I'm, I'm not asking you now. I know you call him God. I'm saying he have hands now. And the hadith says that both his hand in the right side. And the sheikh, all of them, and Zakir Naik explain that Allah nothing like him, but nothing like me too. And nothing like you. Every one of us, even even the drop of the water is not the same as a drop of water. The same as exactly. ice, the same as a snow. So is that mean That's snow is, does that mean snow is God? No. Your God have a leg. Why he have a leg? His leg and arms are you talking about. It's not like Jesus or Esau when he had arms and legs. This is in heaven. This is the heavenly realm. It's different. So he have him. so your God Allah have a heavenly legs. Right, exactly. What does that mean? Uh, man can't comprehend this. Man can't comprehend that. So I cannot comprehend the leg of Allah, but why Allah call it leg if we cannot comprehend it? If it is something else, then he should not call it leg. If it's, not, it's something else, you should not call it hands. It's like one. It's like one. For exactly. Our Thank you very much. So, no, so now he is saying, guys, that the hand of Allah, like our hands, it's like exactly. one. Okay. That means it's like our hand. You just said that. In the beginning, you said to me, it's a metaphorical. And now you are saying to me, no, it's not metaphorical. It's like our hands. So It is uh, metaphorical because it's not one to one. That's what, what, what do you mean not to one to one? one? No, metaphorical means it's not physical. When you say it metaphorical, it means it's not exist as something physical. But now you confirm that Allah have a physical form and a physical no, hand and a physical body. Well, Zakir Naik confirmed that. He said no, his hand. He, he, he said, no, he realm. said he has hands, but not like us. Exactly. Okay, but they They're are hands. hands so he have side. hands. They ha he have hands. But you're assuming the hands are like our hands. That's no, you assuming. are the one who said, you are the one who said, like our hands. You said that. I said to you, why Allah calling it hand if it is not a hand? He, you said, because it is like our hand. So how it is like our hand, as an example, I have five fingers. How many fingers Allah have in his hand? Uh, five. Exactly. Okay. That's amazing. So now my hand is the same as the hand of Allah. Now the question to you, why Allah have hands? Why does it matter? Why, why does that matter? Well, if Allah, he makes things by saying B, why he need hands? Because he's interacting in the heavenly realm and that's what he decided. He wanted to he interacting by what? Interacting with what? Huh? Interacting with, in, interacting with what? He's interacting in the heavenly realm, so he's taking a different form. What different form? Are you saying to in me? The heavenly realm. Are you saying to me that your God Allah is a grim and he changed his form? Yes. Oh, he's a grim, like in the movie. No, you're, you're just making jokes. I'm you're not. Jokes I'm can... not. I am not. You are the one who said that Allah he changed his form. But you're you're making jokes. Oh, I make joke as I like, want. What about Jesus? You Did are the know? one. You Did are the Jesus one who said. Form? You are, the one, you are the one, you are the one, you you are the one who said, yes, Allah, he changed his you form. You you don't change you topic, don't, don't change topic. No, no, gods. we have one God. Even your stupid Quran says the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. Are you saying the Quran is stupid? No, where's that? Show me the Hadith or the Surah, show, show me it. This is the Aif, the, this is the Aif Quran. Where is it? Show me chapter and verse. This chapter is, I, verse. I just told you, this is the Aif Quran. And you know? recite it in Arabic, recite it in Arabic. You, do you know Arabic yourself? You said no. You know I'm going to check your Arabic. But, but you say you do not know Arabic. When? 
I know, I do. You just said to I me see. you do not know Arabic. How you how how a person? What about you call Uthman and let us see who speak Arabic? Uthman the Sheikh and I am. Call Uthman right now. Do you You're know? scared of Uthman. You're running. You, I, I see. I, just, I keep asking you to call Uthman and I'm running from Uthman. Do you see how it works? <laughs> Listen, I'll call him tomorrow or two days. I'll, I'll get no, you call him right now, right now, right now. I want to talk to Uthman right now. Go ahead, call him. No, he's sleeping right now, probably. What sleeping, you idiot? This is he. He live in in California. They are three hours he's behind. They are three hours behind like us. Java. They are. They are. It is three. It is ten. Uh, 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 Twenty three right now here. It is still very early afternoon in California. Call him. He's doing dawah. He's probably doing dawah. No problem. This is dawah tune. This is more important. Look, I'll, I'm sending him a message. Listen, listen. Okay. I'll send him a message. Okay, has no, uh, hold on, hold on. You said you will send him a message. That means you have his phone number and you have his Skype. Is that correct? Uh, not his phone number, but I have him on Skype. Okay, can you give me his Skype right now? Not now, tomorrow. No, give me, give me his Skype. Give it to me. I will text him. Oh, you're so obsessed with him, dude. You are, so the, you, you are the stupid one who came to me and you keep talking about Uthman. Not me. I did not He's mention Uthman. Abdul, is it, isn't you, is it you who said to my me... You are Abdul. You are Abdul. You are a potato. Here we go. I, I challenge you. Listen, you came to me. You said that Sam, he ran away from Uthman, which is funny to say. Yes. And okay, let us see who's running from who. Let us see. Let us see who is running from who. Give me the Skype of Uthman now. I message Uthman today. Give me no, 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 no. Give me Skype of Uthman. I want to call him right now. He's just gonna block you. He, uh, you he will block me. That means he's a potato. Yeah. No, what? you haven't pulled the video of Snapchat running. You want to pull the video up? Listen, listen, potato. You just said Uthman, he will block me if I text him. So, who is the yes. one right away? He doesn't know who you are. How, how is he? No, I, everybody know who I am. I will tell him I'm a Christian prince. Don't worry. And Anyone I, can make and, a fake and I will account. No, I will, I will leave a voice message for him too. I will call him. I will call him right now. In the middle of the give night. Me, give me the Skype, mom. potato. Give me the Skype right now. Give me the Skype. Give me the Skype and Allah will reward your versions for that. Go ahead. Oh, wow. You're insulting the Quran now. I insult the Quran every day. Don't you know I insult Quran, I insult Muhammad. I love it then. No, 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 no. Don't insult the Prophet. Don't, uh, don't okay. make a mistake. Okay. If you do, I will destroy Trinity. You will destroy Trinity. What you would do? You you, you will you will use uh, what like uh, spray or something? What you would do? You know? Ah, uh, listen, 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 listen. Don't change topic. Give me, give me the Skype of Uthman, potato. Why you are scared? Nope. Why? I will pay you how much you want. I don't need money. I only need Allah. I, I will. I will money. pay you a hundred dollar. I promise in the front of everybody. You open an account in Patreon. You give me the account of Uthman. I call him. He speak to me. I will give donation to you one hundred dollar. I promise in the front of everybody. First of all, I don't trust anything a Christian says. Because I'm not asking you to trust you, but I'm not asking you to trust. I'm saying give me the account of Uthman to call him, and I will give you a hundred dollar. I don't need money. I only need Allah. I okay. made that clear. Okay, I will give you. you I will give you one hundred Allah. Here we go. There's no. There's only one Allah. Okay, there's money Allah. Allah. Okay, you see, you're you're running away. You don't want to give me the number of Uthman. If you say this, obviously, Shahada, obviously, you Uthman, this. Uh, obviously Uthman, your stepfather is a coward like you. Listen. Okay, I will say the okay. Shahada. All right. You want to say Shahada? Say it. There's no stupid Muhammad, but stupid Muhammad. No. Well, I, the, I mean, say the Quran Allah says Allah the Quran, Allah Allah. the Quran, the, the Quran, the Quran says the Quran says that Muhammad is stupid. Look, in the Quran it says, you said to me, show me where it says in the Quran that the Christian believed that Jesus is Allah. Well, this is a chapter nine, verse number thirty. So your prophet is stupid because if the Christian believed that the Messiah is Allah, so where is the Trinity? Which one are you specifically talking about? Chapter nine, verse number thirty. Chapter nine, verse thirty. Alright. So you want to give me the number of Uthman, the, the, the uh, Skype of Uthman? If, when you say the Shahada, yes. Ah. In Arabic, then yes, absolutely, I will do that. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, even if the vilest sinners worship me with exclusive devotion, they are to be considered righteous. Abdul, do you, do you know how to read? What are you reading? Chapter 9, verse number 30. Oh, okay. Sorry, that was something else. Oh. 
um, the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. Huh. Right? Okay. So, so here it says the Messiah is the son of Allah, correct? The Messiah is the son of Allah. Okay. Yeah, it says the Christians say that, yeah. Okay. But do the Messiah say, the, the Christian, they say the Messiah is Allah? No, they say the Messiah is the son of Allah. They don't say the Messiah is Allah, according to the Quran. That's what they say. Okay. Read with me this. You can see my screen, right? Your screen? Yeah. Um, yes, I can see it. All right. Chapter 5, verse number 17, it says, Indeed, disbelieve those who say that Allah is the Messiah. Hold up. Your, your stream is delayed. So, it's not showing up. Somebody asking me how to say Shahada. You say there is no stupid but Muhammad, and his God is more stupid than Muhammad. That Stop is a Shahada. Dude. Now read. Okay. Well, this is, just like your son but this is this. But this is stupid, don't you see? Allah, He says the Christian they say that the Messiah is Allah, and the reverse He says the Christian they say the Messiah is son of Allah. Are you the son and Allah in the same time? Either you are the son of Allah, or no, we don't. We believe that the son of no. God, yeah, but he's not the same as the father. He's not. The father is the father. The son is the son. The Quran saying now that the Messiah is Allah Himself. So if He is That's Allah, okay, Abdul. How the verse saying in one one saying He is the Son of Allah. The other verse saying He is Allah. You're proving the Trinity is incorrect. You're debunking your own Trinity. How can you be the Son and the Father at the same time? This proves the Trinity. You stupid, Abdul. Abdul. We, we Christian. We Christian. Uh, Abdul. Yeah. Abdul. You're. You are stupid like your prophet. We don't believe. We don't believe that the son and the father is is the same person. You are stupid like your prophet. You know, like the Chinese they say, he lived as a donkey, never come back as a horse. So how you can so how you can debate the Christian if you do not even know what the Christian believe? Now let me ask you. Let me let me ask let me ask you. As long as Allah, he have a, a five fingers. Do yes. he do he clean his nose? You just. Not being serious, dude. You just no, I'm serious. Jokes. I want to know why he have uh, five fingers. Come on, man. It's no, no. Why? Trolling. Why five fingers? Why not? Why exact like us? I mean, what about having six or seven? Why five fingers? You know, we are up. We always touch Only our nose Allah knows. and we clean Only boogers. Oh, Allah, Allah knows. Okay. Why yeah. do do Allah have a penis? You, you, this is completely just. Insane, dude. Why? Why not? I mean, Allah have a shin. Allah have. Are you saying to me Allah is a is a gay or uh, he? he do you he, What? Oh, I'm That's asking you. you I'm trying to know. Okay, you must him. You must. You must him. Call him he. Is he he for real, or he is she, or he is so so? Why you call him he if you don't have a penis? Why are you changing the subject? Talk about. Well, son of well you are the one talking son. about. Uh, we, we talk about the metaphorical, and now we are in trouble. So Allah, Allah, you call him he. Is he he for real or he is a she? I don't even know what you're asking. Let's uh, go back I, to the verse. Uh, because go I want to, I want to learn about Allah, the nature of Allah. Okay, Allah is made Allah of. Is Allah is made of what? Allah is made of what? He have five fingers. The fingers is made of what? Only Allah knows. I don't know. Okay, so know. so what do you know about Allah? Nothing. You, somebody told you Allah have Only five fingers. So now, so now reveals. you are walking in the, the wood. Now you are walking in the wood. Anything have five fingers? You think this is Allah? No, only with the prophet. Okay. Revealed, how you will know? How revealed. you will know which one is Allah now? Whatever the Quran has revealed. What revealed? You just told me you do not know. That's why I'm saying I don't know because it hasn't been revealed. So, so now what you know that he have a shin and he have five fingers and he have a foot. So when you walk in the wood. If a rat appear to you, you will think this is Allah because he have the same. No. Well, he have the same. Lizard have the same. I would have to be dead to see Allah. You don't have what? I would have to be dead to see Allah. So after you die, you will see Allah? Yes. Um, and how you will know this is Allah? Um, because the Quran has revealed it. What revealed? He, he said to you, he have five fingers. There's many things in the grave have five fingers. If I'm dead, obviously my I'm going to be understand that. Ah, you will become smarter after you die. No, not smarter. More not have knowledge. 
this is what I'm saying. Smart that have knowledge. So Allah will give you knowledge after you die. Yes. Uh, he will open school. <laughs> Dude, what? What? You are telling me he will give you knowledge. Are you, are you going <laughs> to receive? Are you going jokes. to receive Quran after you die? There's no school, dude. What do you mean? Why not? Allah always opens school. Isn't <laughs> uh, Isn't Allah who opened a school of Harry Potter before? I don't know, man. What do you know? What do you, what do you mean? You know? Did Allah open I'm a school? Go back to the verse. Did Allah back open? To Allah did Allah inside. open a school of Harry Potter? Yes or no? No. No. Can we so, go back? To so why why Allah he said in the Quran that he sent two angels in the tower of the Babylon to open a school of Harry what Potter? What are you talking about? In the Quran, you said Let's to me. Let's go to the surah. Let's go back to the surah. And we talk are, about we, we are in the surah. We are in the surah. Allah he opened a school of Harry Potter, and Harut and Maru and, and Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Yes. Look, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, and Harut. Look, did you notice? There is a lot of similarity in the name, Harry Potter. And her root, you know, I don't think this is was a like I mean, coincidence, like it's oh my it must be a miracle. <laughs> what is this, bro? What, what is this? What okay, just give me the give me Skype of Hotman, I will continue with you, otherwise, I will block you. Um, why did uh Sam Shimon beat his wife? Do you know he beat his wife? Yeah, what why, why, why prophet that? why prophet Muhammad did beat his wife? Michelle was beaten by on the court records, according to court records, he was beat. Just chip it. Trash like your prophet. Bully. The nation of bully. The nation of bully. Let us see other Muslim. Uh okay, I think this guy is an ex Muslim. Let's mute the microphone uh, speaker so you guys don't bother with the ring. Hello? Shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. <laughs> What's up, my brother? Your camera is open in case you do not know. Oh, hold on. Okay, my fault. All right. uh, that, what, that, was, uh, that was me that that coward was uh, making fun of about my testimony. Uh, you are the one who says you saw the light and you became... So you used to be a Muslim and you became a Christian. Yes, yes. All right. So, uh, 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 well, if you want to open your camera, it's up to you. I mean, I, I just, uh, for me, I don't mind, but just in case you're not, I, I see you are, already, you are posting your videos in YouTube, so you don't, you know, it doesn't matter really. Yeah, I don't care. It's all for, it's all for his glory. I'm not scared of nobody. If I I'm, have God with I me, mean, no I mean to that. So, uh, uh, your name is Amir, correct? Yes, sir. All right, my friend, go ahead and tell the people about what happened to you. And do you have a, do you have a, a, a link for your videos? So we can share your page with people. I to did, I, I did. I did. I put, I posted it on the comments, uh, but it's going so fast. I don't know if anybody got it. I don't, I don't think you can post uh, uh, links. Uh, okay, okay get, uh, uh, post something in the in the chat. I will see your name. I will click in it, and that will take me to your page. What is the name of you you have in the chat? The well, it's under it's under uh, Christ is enough ministries. That's who the. The channel is under Christ is enough ministry. Pastor Hassan, he put it on his uh, no, no, channel. No, no, I'm talking about my channel. If you can, oh, if you, name. yeah, yeah, give me the link. You can give me the link here in your or in the name of your account in YouTube, in Skype, in the text, and I will post it for people so they can subscribe to you just to support you. Oh, I don't, I don't care about my channel, brother. I don't have a channel. I, 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 don't, I don't have, have one. Have a, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't have one uh, like that, no, brother. All right. Okay. Go ahead. What, how, what happened to you, Amir? Man, it's a uh, man. It's a very, it's a long story, but it happened ever since I was a kid. Um, because my whole testimony is uh, is not on the on that video. It's on it's on another video on on YouTube. But um, so when I was it happened when I was twelve years old. That's when it started. Um, when I was twelve years old, uh, me and my brother we used to share a bedroom together. And do I have enough time? Because it's a long story, man. You want me to just cut it short, straight to the point? Uh, yeah, if you can go just as straight for like the major thing happened. Okay, well, yeah. So I, I, I seen him when I was twelve years old. To make a uh, long story short, and I denied him all my life, and I always put it behind me. 
but I always remi- I always hear his voice in my heart every time when I used to pray and everything every time, and I Just always used to push him behind me. Yeah. And then I got, and then in uh, February first, twenty twenty, I died. I died, and what, I, what what I, do you mean by saying you died? I had a heart. I like I had a I like these people. They think I was dreaming. Like I, I, I always tell somebody, I know what dreams are. This is not a dream. I like really. I like he killed me for real. Like I really died. He okay. wanted to show me what I was doing. I was going to hell, and my soul, my soul knew everything right away. Your soul feels everything a million times more. You feel everything. You know everything, and it's it's unbearable. It's it, I was falling in a black pit, falling fast, and then I like how it says under. I screamed the, the right away. That's the first thing I did was scream the shahada, and I screamed Allahu Akbar like eight times, and that's what trips me out. These guys say that I seen the devil. Well, the devil wasn't scared of Allah's name. I said it eight times. I screamed Jesus one time, and I I came back to life. He gave me another chance. You know what I mean? Let me do um, that. I was falling, and I screamed, I screamed the shahada, and I and then when I screamed Allahu Akbar eight times, and then my soul told me that I'm it's a it's a lie. They they lied to you. It's not true, and I'm going to hell for eternity. And right when I felt the separation, the hopelessness is unbearable. Uh, like every time I tell it, I want to cry. I, the the um the feeling of hopelessness is unbelievable compared to from from the hopelessness you feel on earth is nothing compared to what you're gonna feel when you know that you don't have God no more. And and then I, I like th- there was this white fly a uh, white light flying around me so fast, and I knew it was my guardian angel. And this guardian angel's voice was the most scariest and the most beautiful voice in one that's the only way i can explain to everybody this voice is so piercing i will never forget this angel's voice in my life it's so piercing i it won't leave me every single day i think about this voice and it started screaming at me and it was telling me amir it was going from one ear to the other Amir, please, you have to listen to me. And this angel was so desperate for me. It was so desperate. It said, please, you have to listen. He can still hear you. He's the only one that can save you. You have to tell him before your soul leaves your body. You have to tell Jesus to save you before your soul leaves your body. Hurry, do it now. Hurry, hurry. And it was tell- And then when I was looking down, and I was, it was another pit. And right before I hit that pit, and I, I was like, well, while I was falling, I couldn't even, I still couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I was still couldn't believe it. And I screamed out, Jesus, please come into my heart and save me. And I, my, the, the pain, like the, the force that my, my soul, when it came back into my body is unbelievable. Like the force, like my chest was hurting me for like four days. It's like, I know what a defibrillator, when somebody has a heart attack and they use that shocking machine, that's what it felt like. I, I like when, when, when I said his name, a big flash and a big boom, uh, like a huge blast, that's what I heard. And then I came back to life and I couldn't believe it. I was sweating like crazy. My wife was gonna call 911 and I knew I had a heart attack or something. I knew, I knew something happened to me. And even at that time, even even that moment, I said, there's no way this can happen. There's no way. There's no way. So I took another eight months. I read the Quran and I took my time, okay, because I was proud to be Muslim and I was I was scared. You know, in Islam, we leave our religion. It's a wrap. There's no forgiveness. That's the only forg- That's the only sin Allah can never forgive you if you leave your religion. And I was thinking about the 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 embarrassment and the torment that I'm going to cause for my whole family. Even my, my I still my wife is still Muslim and my kids are still Muslim. They, they, and, you know, I'm, I'm trying hard to get them to believe. But once you're programmed in that system, it's so hard because Islam is all fear. Islam is all fear. It instills fear in a person. You know what I mean? It's yeah. it's. It, it instills fear to where you don't you want to just stay in it, you know. Even even keep even, listen. This is what this is what trips me out. Even if Jesus came down, they're still gonna deny him. That's what drives me crazy about people. And they act like they know me. They act like they've seen everything. They don't know nothing. And after after I got saved, Christian Prince, I if I tell you the things that he shows me and the things that he, I I can't believe it. It's like I write everything down. I have a journal. I write everything down, all the things that he shows me and tells me, because even even recently, like at sometimes, you know, when I go against my family, they come and they want to debate me and all this stuff. 
And, you know, sometimes, you know, my, my mind get, gives me doubts. But when I hear his voice and I feel his love, his love is unbelievable. That's what people don't understand. Even, even if I tried to go back to Islam, he will not let me. He tells me I'm safe where I'm at. That's how much he loves me. And the love that he, I never felt love like this in my life. I'm 45 years old, and I, I never felt this love and protection in my life. And I all, and now I know all the times that I, that all the, all the accidents that I've been, because I almost died so many times. And now I knew why he kept me alive. He didn't never want me to go to hell. And that's where I was going. Is your wife now still Muslim? She's halfway, halfway in, halfway out because I show her because I watch her channels like crazy and I document everything and I and I show her things and I show her how and she can't believe like she's against everything. So you know if you're against the prophet that you're not even Muslim, you can't say you're a Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know she doesn't agree with a lot of things. Once you disagree with anything Muhammad did, you, you can't consider yourself a Muslim. Exactly. And she, I, and she's I she, she's already out even if she's saying she's not yeah, yet. Yeah. yeah. And me, I can't be fake right away. I, I didn't waste no time. He didn't let me. I told my whole family and I, I told everybody and I try to explain to people. I go, listen, man, I never wanted to hurt anybody. I never wanted to destroy my family's life, but I'm not going to go to hell for anybody. I will never have that feeling of hopelessness that I felt when I died. There is no way. And there's no way that out of every Every prophet and everything, Jesus is always the one that shows up, not in just with me and everybody. Anybody that died and comes back, they always say it was Jesus. Nobody else. Yeah. Nobody else. Everything has to do with but, Jesus. Uh, but Amir, you know, listen, now you will not receive the versions. You know what? That was... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not only the virgins, the orgies. The I, mean, orgies. I, I mean, is it is it obvious that this God is a scam? You know, I mean, what kind of God? He promised me endless private part. Women, her ass will be one mile. Do you like one mile ass? See, this is the thing that that, that they opened my eyes like so much. Like, okay, how how is it haram to have sex on earth, but it's not haram to have sex in heaven? How God is so holy. There is no desire. We don't take our evil desires on earth to heaven with us. I don't know what kind of fantasy these people live in. There is no sex in heaven. Okay, we have a spirit body. Our body is not going to be like with penises and vaginas, and we're going to have sex and kids. It's not going to be like that. These, that's what trips me out. They really think that they're going to have all kinds of porn stars going on. And <laughs> you know, uh, the promises they are so stupid. I mean, if a person have a little, I mean, small brain, you don't need to be genius. When there is somebody he says to you that your wife, her ass will be one mile. I mean, what is that exactly? You know, one mile, you know, yeah. And uh, what if I don't have it that big? What about half mile? Can we have like a hundred meter, you know? I mean, uh, what is this half mile? And in the same time, you ask yourself, there was mile in the time of Muhammad. I mean, this guy he must be a prophet for real. <laughs> what about the what about the little boys? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, all the reason. But I advise you actually to open your YouTube channel so you can you know you can help the Muslim himself. As you know, we don't hate Muslims, and you yourself, not long ago, you used to be a Muslim yourself, right? So we don't hate the Muslims, and I believe that you have a duty yourself to help the Muslim to see the truth and to leave Islam. So I advise you. I encourage you to open your channel in YouTube and uh, I will share it with people here so we can get you uh, people to support you and subscribe. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I did make one, but I didn't make no videos there. It's uh, I am Jesus proof. You should. You should. You I should. Mean. Trust me, you should. You should. So you can be an active and don't because, you know, if we don't share what happened with us, I mean, I appreciate already our sharing, but it's better if you have your own channel and you make like once a while, you don't have to make a video every day, but if, if you ask me, I will make a video every day. Why not? I mean, uh, don't the Lord deserve our time? He deserves, right? So there, there's no better time than the time we spend preaching his gospel, bringing people to him. So uh, uh, make videos every day, maybe 15 minutes. You know, I understand you have a family. You need to take care of them. 15 minutes every day. Speak about why you believe in Christianity, why Islam, what's wrong with Islam, etc. 
every day, you know, a few thoughts here and there, and that will help many to leave Islam and to listen to you and to come to Christ. And that will be a blessing for you uh, now and in the future. Amen, my brother. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. You. I love you, Christian friends. I right. appreciate everything you do for our Lord. I appreciate you. God bless you. Thank God you. God bless everybody. Take care. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Let us see. We have another Muslim. Let us call. Maybe he is not online. You know, the Muslim, they call uh, when I am talking. The second I stop talking, they are not here. Let us see another Abdul. All right. Look like we are out of Abdul. All right. And as you see, the Mohammedan they claim that people run away from Uthman. Uthman is just a kid. He don't even know how to read his 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 prophet name. Uh, and this is why I actually discovered uh, he will never get close to somebody speak Arabic. Never, because that is dangerous, very dangerous. Even the Muslims themselves are making fun of him, claiming to be uh, somebody who knows the Quran. They made a video of him with hundred mistake. Just a hundred, just in short video, they show you a hundred mistake of Uthman. Hundred mistake, not you know, not one, ten. And this guy, he claimed to be a sheikh. He add words to the Quran. This is a channel run by Muslims, have nothing to do with me. It's Al Islam production. Salafi Uthman ibn Farooq. What a joke. Even you Muslims consider him a joke. Even Mimi Dawa, he laugh at him. Mimi and Lulu and you know all of you potatoes so those people will never get close to me because they knew their size they can get away with someone like uh, 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 God logic you know he don't speak Arabic and you know like people who have they are learning you know slowly about Islam uh, but to get close to Christian Prince you will notice all of them they will stay away they will make any excuse all of them they are challenging me to debate them we will fly all the way to you. We will come all the way there. It's talk. You do not need to fly anywhere. Give me your Skype. And I will call you right now. Nobody need to fly anywhere. Save your money and donate it to the orphan. The money you want to spend to fly to me and the money I want to spend to fly to you, it's a waste of money. Here, give me your Skype. We can show reference on the screen. We can read together. Nobody is shouting, and nobody, uh, you know, nobody is standing. Nobody. You, you drink your coffee in your table. I'm drinking my tea here, and everybody having good time. You don't there, and this is why people laugh at you. Do we have any Mohammedan? And the Abdul who was talking about somebody beating his wife, you stupid idiot, your dad he beat your wife. Isn't it the Quran says you can beat your wife? So if somebody he beat his wife, that means he is following the Quran. Isn't it in the Quran? Even your prophet he says, no man will be questioned why he did beat his wife. So how a Muslim being hypocrite, in one hand he is accusing somebody of beating his wife, and in the same hand they say to you it's okay to beat your wife. So is it bad or good? What do you expect from the bully religion? They could not debate you, they bully you. Do we have any Muhammadan? 
do life with good God logic. You know, actually, I supported him in the beginning, but then I get upset from him. One day, he was speaking to Uthman, and I was in the chat in his program. I came to support him, and I told him, uh, let me talk. I want to call you in Skype. Let me talk to him. He, you know, he, he, ref he, he refused to answer. And since then, I got upset. I don't go. I don't, I don't even go to his channel no more. I was really upset because this potato, he kept running away from me. And he is there. Oh, what you need to say, hey, listen, Christian Prince is challenging you right now. Put me in the speaker. He did not do it. And I got really upset from him. Because it doesn't take him much to put me in the speaker, correct? And you will see, and everybody will see how in a second, the one who claimed to be a lion will turn to be into a cat. Yeah, as you see, we support everybody. Don't you see me? Er, er, always I say, go and subscribe to this guy. Go support this guy. I did the same to him. I did to everybody. And I'm not, uh, you know, uh, uh, asking for a turn. I do not need it. I'm the last one to, to need that. But at least I say to you, let me talk to this potato. Then let me talk. But you will lose. You are standing in front of him. Put me in the speaker. Imagine if he did that. Sheikh Uthman will turn like a cat. Is he going to dare to debate me? No, he will run away. He did not see me in the chat. I know people, they were telling him, Christian Prince is asking you to do this. I know. Maybe he did not see. Maybe. I don't know. But that made me get upset. Anyway, do we have any Mohammedan here would like to join us? Maybe, maybe. Who dare? Who there? I challenge all the Muhammadan in the world. All of you are terrified. And the ones who claim to be your big, they are so small. I mean, if I play the video of this guy, people would die laughing. Literally, especially if you speak Arabic. And you know, the problem is this guy, he claimed to be a sheikh. And to be a sheikh in Islam, you have to know Arabic very well. Like, you know, uh, I mis make mistakes, a lot of mistakes in English, but English is not really a language for me. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not claiming to be a Shakespeare. And it doesn't matter really how good my English is. But you are a sheikh. It's like somebody claiming to be uh, like a monk in a, in a Latin uh, uh, monastery. But you don't know Latin. And he cannot read the gospel in Latin. And all the monks around him, 100%, they have to know Latin. But he claimed to be a monk, one of them. This guy, he add words and verses to the Quran. He changed the Quran. Ya nas, ma Look, in the video here, they are showing you the mistakes underneath. When you play the video, they are showing you how many stupid mistakes he's doing. So they are writing them for you. So he added, he changed three words in one sentence. He changed three words in one sentence in the Quran. And getting up from it. Oh Oh 
many uh, Imman ulama of the past, uh -huh. for example, Imam al Nabawi or Ibn Hajar, uh -huh. they made mistakes in Tawilat. And if we mention their names, he's, he's, he's even saying that the biggest scars of Islam they make mistakes, and he is the one who's going to correct them. And this is what is making them even laugh at him more that the guy do not even know how to read. And he is going to teach the big, he is mentioning big names in Islam, you know, the big ones. He's saying those are stupid. They make big mistakes. You know, I am Uthman, the ketchup boy is going to fix it. So don't mention those people, right? People will laugh at you. Do we have any Muhammadan here? <coughs> any brave Muhammadan? Beside the ketchup boy who don't dare. All of you are potatoes. All of you, with no exception. All of you. And yes, Allah have a weird look. And the Muslim, they keep saying how we worship Jesus. Well, Jesus is holy. If you have a body of a human being, still he's holy. Is your God is holy? No. How we know that Allah is not holy? For he have a bad ethic. Isn't it your prophet he encouraged Muhammad to flirt with the women she is married? This is your God. We don't care how your Allah look like. He looked like a mule. He looked like a lizard. He looked like a man. We don't care. What we care for, obviously, that Allah and Satan, they are one. Because ethic is not there, zero ethic. And when we ask you about Allah, what do you do? You say Allah is not like anyone, but this is a verse you took from the Bible. The Bible says first, nothing like God. But that's not about look. Who care about the look? Nothing like God because of his holiness, his ability, his wisdom. Uh, but otherwise, there's many things like God. As an example, I have ethic. Do God have ethic? He will say yes. Okay. I have a spirit. Do your God have a spirit? A Muslim will say no. But isn't it the Quran says, I created him from my spirit? I breathe into him from my spirit? So if he don't have a spirit and he say my spirit, that means you Muslims are crazy. How he say my spirit, but he don't have a spirit. If you say he own it, that means life, life is not his. It's not from him. It's something he have in a box somewhere. So the Muslim, they are so desperate. They don't know what to do about their God. He look funny. They can't explain. They don't know even how he look like. They don't know what Allah mean. All what they knew that he have hands, he have feet, he have legs, he have face. How we can fix the problem? Who care? Just we worship Allah. A Muslim should not ask questions. Why? Because the second he asks questions, he will find that Islam is so stupid. Why Allah, he promised me a woman, her ass is one mile? This is not a good question. Just accept the one mile ass. It's a gift from Allah. You can do hiking on top of it. And by the way, it's so smooth. And I have a doubt that you can you know, do hiking on it. And be careful if she fart, she might burn you, especially if you are smoking. In case you do not know, fart is a flammable, is a methanol. So when you fart and you are smoking a cigarette and her ass is one mile, so it's the same as a big, huge container, one mile container of methanol, Farting exploded in your face. So I guarantee you, you will be a barbecue. So no smoke. You should have a sign around your wife says, don't smoke, please. Dangerous. All right. Where is that hadith? Which hadith? About... Uh, 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 the, the one mile? Uh, let me let me see if, if I can find it in English. Hold on.
I don't know if I can find it in English. Uh, I could not. Uh, let us see if we can find it in other wine. Let me search for this one. I will search for other one. See? No. Okay, let's see then. We have to use Google Translation. All right, this is the hadith. Let me post it for you. This is the link. I uh, will put it in the screen and we will use Google Translation. This is the book of Musnad Ahmad. And this is the link. You have to open it in Google browser. Just take a note. And then you have to use Google Translation. This is Hassan Hadith, which means it's good. It is good. So this is Musnad Ahmad, Ibn Hanbal, volume number two, page number 537. Hadith number 10549. And I will translate the Hadith. It says the lowest reward, the lowest reward uh, for, a, for a Muslim, this is the bad Muslim, he will have 300 slaves and they will serve him every day 300 dishes and I think they are from gold, he said, and every dish have different or tray, have different kind of food. All of it from the beginning to the end is so tasty. And then he says to his Lord, uh, Lord, this is too much. I can feed all the people of heaven with this. And I can give them a drink from it. And still I will have more, which means it's so much. And then he will have 72 of the virgins. Each one of them, her ass will have one mile in the ground. Let us use Google Translation. So again, this is uh, Musnad Imam Ahmad, page number, uh, uh, volume two, page number 537. And this is the hadith number, as you see. This uh, page is very jumpy. So let us see here. Yeah, so here, uh, you see the translation is not coming too much accurate. It says, each one of those versions is going to take her seat as far as a mile on the ground. So her ass, maqadua, maqadul mar'a, it's her ass. So her seat will take one mile in the ground, which is very lovely. I mean, we men, we love them, man, for that piece. Man, and now Allah, finally, he gave you the biggest screen TV ever. This is not 50 inch. This is not 65 inch. This is one mile by one mile ass. I mean, how many inches that somebody can convert? Somebody is good in mathematics? Convert to me one mile inch square. How beautiful. Thank you, Allah. Thank you. And now, guess what? You do not need security. I mean, even if an army come to you, you can ask your wife to bend over. You put a candle in the front of her ass and she fought at the enemy. <laughs> No, no, like this is the the uh, uh, Nepal uh, weapon, you know, like the flammable weapon, and you burn them all, all the enemy. Or in the best scenario, if you have like a hundred men coming to kill you, or what your wife need to do, she set on them, they will be smashed, mashed potato. All right, so yeah, it's one point three kilometer square ass so beautiful and there is a hole in the middle and by the way the hole you can practice to do many things because this hole is going to be big i mean the hole have to be fit with the ass too right so there is many use for those holes i mean i don't know uh you can practice uh basketball uh you can use it like for soccer you know football like can you put this uh, football there you know in that hole you know, go like, you know, so th there's a lot of fun waiting for you. 300 slaves, you know, 
this is 36,360 uh, inches only. Okay, so it is 36,000 inch, square inch. All right, that's nice. That's uh, actually, I'm very disappointed by the way. I mean, it should be bigger. If you, if you ask me, I mean, why Allah is so cheap? Only one mile, you can make it two mile. I mean, you are making it bigger and bigger. The only concern, like, is she going to wear panties? Where are you going to get the panty for this ass? And then here it says, the translation is not accurate. It says everyone will have a 300 servant and uh, they will serve a trays. You see, the translation is horrible. And those trays are like made from gold and etc. And they have kind of food, not like any, you know? Yeah, very beautiful. Do we have any Mohammedan? You know, I hope by saying this, not many of you will convert to Islam right now because I made the same mistake when I was doing lecture uh, to the fans of Sadhguru. There was a lot of Hindus, like a million Hindu, and I told them, do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter? I was just making fun, but I, I forgot that those are Hindus and brother. All those million Hindus, they decide to join Islam. They could not believe that Allah, he made the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter. Like they were like, wow. But then after they converted to Islam because of the cow chapter is the biggest, I told them, you get it wrong. In that chapter, they killed the cow. Oh, the Hindu got so upset. And they start all cursing names to Allah. In the beginning, they like him because he made the chapter called the cow. But then when they heard that Allah, he ordered them to kill the cow, they got so upset and they left Islam. True story, by the way. This is a true story. I have like uh, no, no witnesses for it. You know, I mean, Muhammad have no witnesses. And this is what make me, you know, sound truthful in this story. I mean, Muhammad, he saw all what he saw. He saw nothing. Like he saw who? He did not even see his God. Do we have any Muhammadan? So we have like almost 1400 people watching and, and zero Muhammadan wanna call us? Any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. Listen, call me and get the 70 slaves who will go naked around you and then women who they are so beautiful to the point their ass is one beautiful mile i mean this is a lot of touching accused like if you start touching such an ass today when you are going to finish touching it i'm not being uh you know uh, please don't take me wrong not in a sexual way like massage massage you want to do a massage to your wife, massage brother. And your wife, she have one mile ass and she said to you, honey, can you do massage there? How long is going to take you, Abdul, to massage her ass? She wouldn't even feel your hands. How big your hands would be? Hmm? And how big your, uh, I mean, if the ass is one mile, how big her private part? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's like a half mile? There's a zipper or anything? Or it's just open there, you know, there's no door. But anyway, in the heaven of Allah, there's no mosquitoes, so, you know, and there's no worry, nothing will get in. You know, leave it open. No mosquitoes, no cockroaches, nothing. No, no mice, because, you know, such a big vagina and big ass, the first concern, like, uh, you know, dogs, cats, rats, beasts, hyena, wolves, they can make a cave. It's a cave. It's a huge cave. Big, big, big one compared to the size. I mean, if the ass is one mile, how big the vagina is? So imagine like the uh, two of hyena, they said, hey, brother, where do you want to stay tonight? Let us go to this vagina there. You know, it's dark and stinky. Hmm. 
And this is how we know that Muhammad must be a true prophet. And then the Abdul in his page is bullying the Christians. I mean, look what they believe in. And by the way, the Muhammadan, they claim that the Quran is the book of Allah. And what the Quran is doing, Allah is quoting the ants. Look, look at the book of Allah. Allah is making Quran or the ant making Quran. The ant, she said, hey, uh, Allah, are you working as a journalist today? Allah is telling us what the end she said. I mean, look how serious the story. Allah, he said to himself today, I'm going to tell the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus, everybody in the world, things they do not know about the animal kingdoms. What is that, brother? There is a place where gold and silver they grow. And Allah guarded with ants. And that place is called the Valley of the Ants. And then Allah, he spent his time interviewing the ant. Look, the Muslim, they say, who can make Quran like Allah? But there is Allah is not talking there. It is Sulaiman, the ant, she said. Suleiman said to the ant, the ant she answered Suleiman. The Suleiman he you know he asked where is the chicken. Uh, the chicken answered Suleiman. Uh, Suleiman he asked with the genie. The genie answered Suleiman. So what Allah become in the Quran? A fairy tale storyteller. Look at this. And before Suleiman, we are marched his host of jinn and men and birds. You know, isn't it beautiful to have an army of birds? Isn't this the same we saw in Harry Potter and, you know, the trees moving, the army, you know, I mean, those all, all you know, the elephant came, birds, chicken, eagles, I mean, you name it, man. So Suleiman have an army of birds, genie and the human. If there is anything the same? Huh. What about lions and the no? Uh, not included. Weird. Very weird. I mean, why you want to be a bird, but you don't know you don't need the lions and elephants? Hmm. And then when they arrived at the valley of the ants, one of the ants, she said, Look at the details, brother. Look at the details. Do you see Allah? This is this is what's called journalism. The true journalism. One of the ants. You see the focus? Allah, he zoomed, like there's a trillion ants in the earth. He zoom, 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 chuk, 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 zoom more, zoom, zoom, zoom. Allah have the best camera ever. He zoom, and one of the ants, she said, what a lucky ant. Allah was listening to her. He was listening to the conversation between Mrs. Ant and Mr. Suleiman. How beautiful. Imagine yourself, you are a king, very powerful king, and you are driving the flying carpet. And when you are flying in the flying carpet, you heard one ant speaking about you negatively. Oh boy. I mean, I don't want to put myself in the shoes of Suleiman at that point. I would be so upset. I would be so angry. An ant speaking about me in a negative way fake news i mean you can do that about trump but you cannot do it about Suleiman. i cannot really believe how trashy this end is but brother later Suleiman he discovered something that the ant was wise and he was a stupid. In fact, according to the story, the ant, she won the argument. Which is embarrassing. You are a prophet of Allah. And then you debate an ant. And then the ant is smarter than you. Man, look at this debate here. 
between the ant and Suleiman. I want to show you just a little bit of it. Shall I read it for you guys or you guys are bored? Who's bored here? Anyone is bored? Is anyone is bored here? Ibn Balababaya, uh, according to the... Look, I, what, what I like it about Muslim books is what they say here. What I don't like about Muslims in YouTube, they say it is fake, it is weak, they are liar. Here they say, according to reliable chain of narration narrators, you see, but in YouTube they say, it is Daif. Al-Waqidi is a liar, Al-Bukhari is a liar, Ibn Kathir is a liar, Al-Qurtabi is a liar. You go to their books, it says, according to reliable chain of narrators from the Imam al-Sadiq, that when the ant conversed with others, the one took the conversation to Suleiman. Brother, how the Muslim they knew that wind can carry voice, science, unbelievable. So Suleiman is a flying in the flying carpet, and the ant she is down in the ground talking to other ants. She thought nobody is listening. Surprise, surprise, Suleiman, he can hear you. Suleiman at the time, when he was on the air, where he was? On the air, flying, flying carpet. Suleiman asked the strong wind to stop, like break, you know, to stop, like he break, you know, you know. And then he called out the ant, hey ant, where are you? Come here. Look at this. You are now... King Solomon, driving your special solar system flying carpet hydrogen fuel. No battery needed. And you hear the ant down in the ground. And then he called the ant. Look how the just put yourself in the in, in the in the socks and the shoes of the ants. Man, she have many foot, many, many foot anyway. But listen. Imagine the ant now when she heard Suleiman is calling her out. Oh boy, he hurt me. Oh, what I would do? He just hurt me. What I did to myself? King Suleiman just hurt me. What I will do? Where I can go? Where I can hide? You cannot hide from Suleiman. So he called the ant out, like investigation, you know, investigation time. And come to come to Suleiman. He said, Don't you know that I am prophet of Allah? And I do not oppress anybody. Yeah, he don't. You know, I mean, he have an army, supposedly like Muhammad, go into different nations to occupy their land, and he don't oppress anyone. No. I mean, maybe, yeah. Yeah, peacefully. Oh, this is Islam, Islam, brother. And said, yes, 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 uh, yes, uh, Suleiman, yes, I know, Suleiman. He said, then, why did you scare others from me? and order them to enter their holes. Hey, Muslims, why you Muslims enter your holes when you see Christian prince? Why? Uh, that's a good question. The ant said, I was scared that when their vision falls onto you, they will become fascinated at the beauty of this world. Look, 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 look. The ant, she was scared that when the ant, they see how sexy is Suleiman, they will fall in love. And they will start touching themselves and doing masturbation. Do you see how wise this ant is? Suleiman, he thought, when she used the word the crush, he did not understand she is talking about the crush in their heart. Those females... They never saw someone sexy like Suleiman before. They will be fascinated. I mean, put yourself, I mean, imagine yourself an ant now. You know, and just uh, for a second. I mean, come on, especially, you know, if you are a Muslim watching, this is every day. All right. 
You don't need to imagine, you practice it. So, Suleiman here, he got busted with something like, what? And will be away from Allah. Look, imagine they will forget about Allah. This is how sexy he is. The ant asked Suleiman, hmm, listen, 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 Suleiman. Look, 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 look at the philosophy. You know, this is Aflatone uh, uh, versus Aristo. Shh, deep, very deep. The ant asked Suleiman, who is more honorable, you or your father? The wood, which means David. Suleiman, now he scratches ass. Which one? What the heck? I mean, it's from, that's not nice to say me. I mean, it's my dad, you know? Come on, you know? I have to have, but if they can know that, you can't say it's me. So Suleiman, he said, my father, much more, you know, uh, like uh, honorable than me. Then she said, ha, ha. then why your name has more alphabet than your father's name? Look at this, brother. Look at this screwdriver. She gave him a screwdriver. Suleiman now, how in the world he is going to answer such a, like this is a bomb. Huh? Suleiman was listening like, what? And the aunt saying, listen, listen, you said that your father is more honorable. Okay, okay. But then how come your name have more alphabet than your father name? Cats, cats deep. That is science. That is philosophy. What is the Greek? Aflaton, Aristo, stupid people. Here, here, here is the philosophy. That's amazing. Suleiman, he said, I don't know. Look at this idiot. He lost the debate already. He said, I don't know. He's saying to the ant, I don't know. The ant, she knew more than Suleiman. And the Quran says, Allah, he taught Suleiman. Look like Allah, he taught the ant more. Ah, maybe she is a prophet for the ants because the Quran says that animals are people like you and Allah Give them Quran too. If you don't believe me, I can show you the Quran. Here we go. Hmm. And not only that, they preserve the Quran. And they follow the Quran. Chapter 6, verse number 38. By the way, chapter 6, the name of it is Al-An'am. An'am means animals. Animals. There are not animals live in earth or that fl fl flies on its wings. But a community like you, nothing we have omitted from the book. And they all shall gather to their Lord. So the Muslim believe that animals are going to be judged by God in the day of judgment. Muhammad, he claimed, when there's two goats, they're fighting, Allah will question them why they are fighting. Here you see that Muhammad is so confused. In one hand, he is a sad guru, hippie, with red dot in his head. And in the other hand, he want to kill everybody who don't agree with him. He want to rape all the women. He want to steal gold and, so, and, 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 and silver. But here, animals are community like you. And they have a book. And they believe in Allah, and Allah will judge them in the judgment day. So beautiful. And now we understand why this ant is a Muslim ant. Are you with me? This ant is a Muslim ant, brother. She's a very Muslim, and most likely she is a prophet of Allah to the ants. This is why she even have knowledge more than Suleiman himself. Suleiman, he said, I do not know. The ant, she said, because your father did track al awala and due to that he had an injury in his heart. Look at this. He have a defect. 
not like you and we cured it with the love of Allah and due to this he was called Dawood <whistles> Muslims how the ancient knew this any Muhammadan the ant talking about David Wood Is that about David Wood or somebody else? That's very deep. But you know, what I like about the story, you know, I don't have retirement. Like, I'm not like many of you have retirement when they, they will go and have a salary when they get older. So I'm sometimes I'm like I'm worried about it, but now I have a secret to support myself. It turned to be there's a place where gold to grow. Let me show you. Where the gold to grow? Hold on. I'm searching in the page for okay uh, gold golden chair ah here we go Ali ibn Ibrahim have narrated that when the wind raised the, the, the throne of Ibrahim here they want to say Suleiman not Ibrahim by mistake they said Ibrahim and reached the field of the ants of ants where silver and gold come out Imam as Sadiq said, there is one valley of Allah where silver and gold is grown. And he has, which means Allah, protected it with the weakest creatures like ants. And if a powerful army went to enter, it cannot do so. Now we know why gold is expensive. There's a valley full of ants so i found like there is a, a like a suit in amazon for ants you know ants cannot bite you they can't do anything even there's a billion of them all right so i will buy this suit it costs like a hundred dollar and uh, that's it i got my retirement one day when i get old i have no money you know and uh too old to to uh, to be able to produce I will go and I will go next week maybe and now all what I need to do is just find where that, that uh, uh, valley is I can share this information with you please uh, because uh, as you know uh, I mean this is uh, private somebody saying to me take my call who well, I don't see your call well who are, what's your name are you the same guy I hang up on him if you are the same kid, I, 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 that's it. We give you your time. You are just a kid. So guys, do you see how beautiful the religion of Allah? Isn't it amazing? Who can come with such stories like the Muslims? Flying carpet, the value of the ants. Allah is quoting the ace. You see, in the Quran, Allah is not even making Quran. The ant she said. So who's making Quran? The ant. Can you make Quran like the ant Quran, Muslims? Who can make Quran like the ant Quran? None of you. Allah just making comment. This is this is a commentary book. This is not made by Allah. The ant, she said, Suleiman said. The bird, he said. The chicken, he said. Suleiman answer. Afrit, he said. Suleiman said. Take you with me? No, I, I'm selfish. I don't take you with me. Then I will get, I will take the gold, and then maybe I will give you the address after, so you can take the silver. The valley, you know where the, you know, and the, you know that the nice thing is, it's a, it's a growing. 
So this is a story. Imagine when this is like thousands of years ago. So you can imagine how much gold grow during that time. It's like weed all over the place. Uh, I am not a Muslim. Okay. Why are hadith important? You claimed without it, the Quran is empty. Can you, can anyone explain? Yeah, because most of the Islamic rules is not in the Quran. Even their prayer, like the Quran says, you pray three times. The hadith says, you pray five times. So which one we take? The Muslim, they take what the Hadith says, not what the Quran says. The Quran says you pray only three times, the two end of the day and the approach of the night. What the Muslim do? They take the Hadith. So which one is the religion of Islam is existing? It is in the Hadith. The Quran says you do muta, which means you can still hire women for sex. Hadith says you don't. Which one the Muslims they do? So they stop following the Quran, they follow Muhammad. And the same goes for millions of things. They can't say it's weak. If it's weak, why they follow it then? You know, and weak, by the way, is accepted. Weak does not mean it's rejected. Weak is a rank. Like, you know, when you go to the exam, you get A, B, C, D. You know, even if it's D, it's not rejected. So when they say the hadith has ranks, this is about how many reporters confirm in it. That's all. The more they conf uh, the more reporters, the more the confirmation is authentic. However, you can get a lie confirmed by a million people, so who care? This is even a stupid method. Because if people agree upon something, like the Muslim, they say, the Christians agree that Jesus is God. And they say to you that all of them they agree upon that. Okay, so is but still they say to you it's a lie. So how in the religion, they don't practice that. If all the Muslims agree in one hadith, if there is a proof that this is a correct one, no. Because all those hadith written more than 300 years after Muhammad. In fact, they don't even have the books for those hadith. You see, when, when the Muslim, they show you Al-Bukhari as an example, there's no book, it's called Al-Bukhari. It's not exist. This is a book, they claim that Al-Bukhari, he said that. So people came after, long after, and they say, he said that. Uh. Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? Muhammad is a mentally ill man. I mean, look, even when he go around the Kaaba, look how what he do, you know? You know, like, what is that? What is this? And what is the point of going around the Kaaba like this? And what exactly you accomplish? This is how the Arab used to do, worshipping stones. They used to go around the stones seven times. Muhammad, he does the same. Everything is coming from paganism. This is a pure pagan cult. 
all right guys i think we have enough for today did we have a good time for those who they are making videos don't forget to cut the videos short short videos for the the, the app tool we we got him busted and uh, you know uh, we say to any abdul if you dare really if you have a courage instead of bully making bully of people of what they say and what they believe we know call us and speak like an adult and let us see if you have something to say and instead of making fun and uh, you know moving your eyebrows and you want to jump in the pool for baptism and all those you know child you know behavior what about you call us or you bring your shake to call us and let us see if you have something can be considered valid but all of us we knew that islam is invalid there's no way god he will promise you such a promise stupid promise like gold and silver in heaven what is the value of gold and silver actually i don't like it gold and silver a beautiful tree is better than all the gold in the world imagine you have a mountain of gold you are sitting on it but you don't have a piece of a bread what we will do with gold and silver in heaven what kind of god he promised me that my house in heaven is made one brick of gold and one brick of silver that is satan satan always he have a tool of temptation and all of us we knew the bible have tons of verses about the tool of temptation which is always concentrate money sex power and they are connected the one who got the money he seeks sexness the one who got money he got the power satan always have one way to prove himself to us he tempt you physically with gold and silver and power authority sex he tempt the women by men he tempt the men by women it's not a secret and this is exactly the same method of the stupid muhammad when his men they want to go to war what he promised them holiness no he says dahman dahman you will f the women like this is that a speech of a prophet when he wanted to attack the roman he says attack the roman so we can get the yellow girls the yellow they don't even know how to use the word blonde they call them asfar banatul asfar a savage man a gang even his followers accused him after they attacked their neighbors their families actually their cousins they attacked them and they stole their underwears and then the the gang of muhammad the campaign of muhammad they accused muhammad that he stole a piece of a cloth you ask yourself what an honorable person he is to the point his own followers accused him that he stole a piece of a clothing I don't want to compare between the disciple of the Messiah and the Messiah and the faith Muhammad because that will be insult to the most holy person ever mankind so that is the Messiah but imagine if the disciple of Jesus accusing Jesus that he stole a piece of clothing what is that going to tell you what will tell you is that such a group cannot be ethical because if their best if their best person is suspected of being a thief by his best companions are you are you with me because who is the one is accusing him that he stole the muslims the companions not the muslims like at that time they are not a million they are just a few The very few Muslims who support Muhammad, they supported him because they are thieves. And now the thieves are fighting over the theft. Who stole this piece of clothing? And here you need to ask yourself, I mean, what kind of people they are to the point, they are not even fighting over gold or silver. It's just a piece of clothing. How savage they are. How trashy. They never saw such a clothing, nice, 
trashy, garbage. So they accuse their best man, the one who sent by Allah, that he stole. And look how the Muslims, they false translation of this verse. No prophet could ever be false in his trust. What trust? What false trust? What are you talking about? An yawul in Arabic it says, which means to be a thief. Change the translator. Never take a Muslim translation. Muslim translation is just a fraud. Now look, look here. They try to cover it too. It is not of any profit to take illegally a part of the booty. Look, look, look. See, they are trying to cover it. They don't say it's not for a profit to be a thief. What take illegally? I mean, it's a booty anyway, which means it's a theft. They stole it from their neighbors, and now they are fighting about what they stole. And actually, this verse proved to us that Muhammad and his God both are liars. Why? Because if they accuse Muhammad that he stole a piece of a clothing, what about Allah? He tell us who is the one who took it, and that will solve the problem. Which means this verse confirmed that the one who took it is Muhammad. Can't Allah, don't Allah knew? Who took it? Instead of saying, it's not Muhammad who took it, tell us who took it. And that will be really good. I mean, Allah supposedly is a God and he can see everything. And now this is the time you can show us that you know everything. What the Quran says, confirm two things that Allah do not know. Or Muhammad is the one who took it. He can't accuse anyone else because then we go to his house, he have nothing. It is in the house of Muhammad. Otherwise, Allah, if he is God, he should say, go to the house of a Christian prince, open the drawer in the bedroom, the third drawer in the left, in, you know, yeah, go there, you will see it. Yeah? And you will notice all the translations try to avoid what the word Yagul mean. Yagul mean thief. Only if you have garbage friends, they will accuse you and you are the best of them to be a thief. That means you are a thief. And they are thieves do. And as you see, they are fighting over the booty, which is nothing but a theft. They took it unjustly. You know, in the Middle East, we say, tell me who is your friends. I will tell you who you are. You want to know somebody, see who goes out with who? What kind of people he associates with? If they are drug dealers, he will be a drug dealer. If they are gays and lesbian, he will be like them. If they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, preachers, he will be a preacher. I mean, why you associate with them? If they are, if they are dancers, he will be like like dancing, obviously. So tell me who is your friends. I will tell you who you are. And let us look at the friends of Muhammad and the friends of the Messiah. If we can call them friends, and they will see. We cannot even see. It. We cannot say even the word different. Different mean nothing actually. The compare here is hilarious. And right away you will find that Muhammad is nothing but the biggest scam ever come to this earth. And those people, they are not only deceived, they are lying to themselves. All what they need to do, just open your books for five minutes, read your book, and you will see that your prophet is nothing but a scumbag. I mean, name one thing about this man is not evil and ugly. Sex with his children, sex with his own son wife. Sex with the maid when the, the, the wife she was away. And there's nowhere in the Quran giving him license to have sex with the maid. The Quran gives him a, a, approval to rape women who they are captive of war. Fighting over the booties, accused of theft. Telling his son to keep his wife when he just came from the house flirting with the wife. 
If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can F her. All those description and many more is in the Quran. The best of the booty have to go to Muhammad. The fifth of the booty have to go to Muhammad. Muhammad do not need to pay dowry if you want to sleep with the women. It's for free. Muhammad, no woman can after him sleep with other men. It's he on her. Muslim women, she can, if her husband pass away, she can go and marry. No, Muhammad, he own you until you die. He is above even his own religion. Muhammad have his own rules, which is no rules. All the Muslims have rules. Muslim can have four wives. Muhammad, there's no limit. Muslim have to pay dowry if they want to rent a woman for sex. Muhammad, he take it for free. A Muslim is not allowed to go to the house of somebody and if he like her, take the wife. Muhammad, he can. And the man should give his wife immediately as we showed you in Al-Qurtubi, the privilege number 10th. So always cult leaders, they share one thing. They want your money, your wife, and to be their slave. And that is exactly who is Muhammad. He used the name of his God to control them, but he is their God. Allah is just a tool to fool the Abdul. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. Don't forget to download the videos because soon I'm going to do a cleaning to my channel so we can keep it clean from the name of Muhammad. Take care.